Burger King have redesigned their visual identity and it looks pretty, pretty cool. Um, this is courtesy of Hypebeast. It says Burger King has revealed a bold new visual identity where they basically changed the uh, overall branding um, and artwork that goes on the wrapping and the packaging and the trays of their fast food. And it looks really interesting. So today Burger King has debuted an entirely new visual identity with its first top to bottom rebrand in over 20 years, which is insane. In announcement today, the fast food chain revealed a modernized look which encompasses all aspects of the customer experience with packaging to uniforms. And of course, a new logo. Burger King customers will see the new beginnings to these new changes begin to roll out as soon as early next year. The company aims to have the redesign implemented its worldwide location within the next few years which is it's actually incredible how well some of these big fast food chains are able to implement these rebrands and you know merchandising things you know across the board in all countries it's really really incredible the fact that you can go to like a mcdonald's in or a burger king in indonesia and one in texas and get the exact same sort of like and experience the same um sensory things right same branding colors really makes you kind of feel at home i think they do at mcdonald's right that's what they want it to be they want to feel familiar wherever you go so you kind of feel like you're kind of grounded in the city um again maybe it's not a good idea right if you go to a, a really exotic country the first thing you do is go to mcdonald's but i understand the familiarity it sort of breeds and um this rebrand looks really cool really fresh really clean um again i just wish there was some sort of rebrand in the quality of the produce because Burger King, especially in the UK, the quality is so terrible and it's so inconsistent depending on what location you go to. Um, you don't ever, I, I've been to maybe three or four. I, I, I haven't eaten in Burger King in maybe years, like an actual meal meal. It's been a long, long time, but the times I've gone, I've had, you know such different experiences um such different in terms of levels of quality for the most part the the the, the two times i have because i've gone yeah in recent years the two times i have gone were basically kind of way back from an airport i've usually found the airport my burger kings to be a lot better than the ones i find like in city centers and i have again no idea why the quality control varies so badly um it's way worse it's a it's a much more of an issue at burger than at mcdonald's i find mcdonald's consistency is pretty cool across the board um but i don't know why for some reason it's just even a small thing like the fries one location you could get a pack of fries and there's like 10 in there another location they're all inside a bag there's no consistency whatsoever with it um it continues here burger king has said its rebrand signals its commitment to making a strong digital first impression and it's designed to reflect a recent commitment to food quality following the removal of artificial colors flavors and preservatives as well as its recent pledge to environmental sustainability that's the buzzword for everyone going forward in it environmental sustainability it continues the company states this redesign will also touch restaurants merchandise decor signage and many new boards as well as external social marketing assets so here's a few of the bits and pieces that they've basically done here on the screen they've got here a spread of all the base all the food items and packaging the crown the iconic crown the trays here um they've got the uniforms which look pretty cool i love the hat i love this little is that a bomber jacket or is that a vest i wonder what that is that looks pretty nice i wonder if they'll sell the actual uniform that'll be interesting isn't it? if they sell them on the store if they sell them online in the store because there's a lot of people there was a period in time in the uk where people were wearing the royal mail bags as a messenger bag there's a time in there was a time in place where people were wearing what else was it the people that sell um delivery um uh rain jackets and backpacks and stuff some people wear them around time some people wear them just because they want to get a, as soon as they get a job with delivery but i think you get one free right when you sign up to be a courier but i know that was a big thing so i wonder if they'll end up selling it or they'll if they end up doing collaborations like what mcdonald's did you know mcdonald's were doing all these cool collaborations um you know last year obviously travis scott jay balvin and a few other people i wonder if burger king are going to enter the fray and do the exactly the same thing curious because they did do some trolley marketing thing prior right remember when they did that thing with katie neister and uh, maybe maybe let's see who knows um uh, up there on a the logo again you it, it's odd in it the moment you see a new logo it makes the old logo look very dated right like you don't really see this sort of like um what do you call it shading design thing anymore in in artwork or in pieces of um visual identity pieces for a brand this is more of the contemporary style this sort of like flat um you know 
almost static sort of image as opposed to this sort of thing that looks like it's in motion right um that's what you get and obviously a few more saturated colors not as bright as the previous ones again a change in the signage just looks really really cool that kind of it, it looks very contemporary but also looks very um old as well it sort of reminds you of a uh, of yesteryears of a time you know when um, america was the land of the free home of the brave right it sort of has that appeal to it um the redesign of the uh out the outside of a burger king i guess the exterior i'm assuming they could probably just change the colors of the beams and stuff but most other things that's probably why this even though most modern day architecture for fast food restaurants is a bit bland and it's a little bit it just looks like um this could be a we work this could be a storage unit it could be anything right so it's a little bit nondescript it also allows them an opportunity to be a little bit more um to be to kind of change as they go on branding wise because if you kind of have a very specific and concrete design language in the building it kind of makes rebrands difficult but in, in, initially it's essentially all they need to do is change the signage on the outside and some of the boards and that's basically and maybe the screens and they basically updated it and a few of the vinyl pieces that's it but in terms of the actual structure it can kind of last it's kind of future proof that's basically what i mean it's basically future proof um again a signage on the outside and then the kind of screens indoors that make it all happen again i just wish the quality of the food was good man it's not that great personally that's just my humble opinion um let's play the video here of some of the signage Doubling down on what makes us great. Yeah, I love the logo. The logo is really cool. I'd wear that hat. I'd wear that snapback. Honestly, I'd wear that as a snapback for sure. Oh, it's a hoodie. It looks really cool. Oh, is that a plant-based burger? So I think so. Looking like a true king. We're proud of the cravings that make you blush and the food and the people I remember. Flame good burgers, so damn good. Awesome, so damn taste. I wonder how much they paid for this new visual identity. I wonder who did it. Who actually did it? Say, Birkin has recently teased. Say, who did the actual identity of it? Who did it? Oh, yes, is it Ralph uh, Raphael of Restaurant Brands? Okay, Restaurant Brands International Head of Design. Maybe it's just in house. Is that in house? No way is that in house. That must be done by an agency. It looks cool regardless. Old signages everywhere. More signage. The kind of stuff that makes you drool. Oof, that looks pretty cool, isn't it? We designed. The, yeah, the uniforms look pretty cool. Don't get me wrong. The uniforms are pretty. Again, I know working there might not be the most enjoyable experience in the world, but the uniforms, don't, you can't deny. That looks really cool, man. Like, that actually looks like a. The one thing I hated, I remember when I used to work in. Um, I was at a place called Hollywood Bowl and I did like, you know, I was frying the, the nuggets and stuff and making this fries. So I did some of that sort of like fast food um, uh, service industry work before. And I hated it when I used to work there because usually I think even it's maybe a thing that's been phased out recently, but they always make you wear a polo. Polos are the kind of go to um, uniform that you have in these sort of jobs. I don't know why, because they maybe because they feel like it gives you... Um, a sort of professional look without being too button up I don't know what it is, but they're not comfortable and they really count they're really counterproductive in terms of how you maneuver and move around in a store, especially when there's a fryer going on and there's heat everywhere and it's loud and it's damp and sweaty. It's not the best fabric to wear. You kinda of wanna be in a t shirt or something, but they don't let you wear t shirts. They usually always have like a either a polo or some sort of shirt and they're never they're never good. They always you know, they catch smells really easily, you sweat really easy. It's just not nice so having this t-shirt looks pretty cool yeah and it in dark colors too so if you sweat in your armpits people can't see too tough this looks pretty awesome and i like it again the apron the badges i love it man i'm, I'm not mad at it at all i'm really not mad at it one one bit um, and then here we've got the little logo spinning around with the B. Looks pretty cool. And then that's it in it, right? Yeah. 
I like it, man. I like the logo. I like the redesign. I think it looks pretty cool. 